call the surrender. Uh, the shorthanded goal at the end of the second or the end-to-end -end rush by Tuck who went untouched in the third. Do I have a C choice and say both? Um, the power play one was was the toughest for me because you uh, they had chances before that. We we got sloppy, we got careless, and uh, if the power play isn't scoring, it should at least gain you a little bit of momentum, and it did none of those things tonight. All it did was give back momentum. Uh, I thought that was the turning point. Obviously, the end-to-end -end rush was very poorly played, so um, that's disappointing as well, but the power play one uh, was one that came late in the period, and it, it wasn't the first breakaway or the only breakaway on the power play uh, situation tonight, so that's disappointing. Uh, it's an emotional day for the team. Carter leads, uh, Alex starts a contract. Do you think the league would be better off by having this as an off day and trade that on deck? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, it would just be my opinion. Let's face it, in, in, in this season, this type of year, we've got to use every day available uh, to us. And uh, we're grown men. Most of us are, are mature enough to, uh, to be able to handle these situations. Uh, we accept it when we write our name on the, on the dotted line to, to enter the league. And it's part of the business. So um, let's get over it and move on. Thanks, Tom. Next up is John Roman. We talked a lot this season about poor starts. Was was tonight about as good of a start as you've seen from the team, though? Well, it was a better start than what we had. Um, you know, we didn't want to go to the penalty box 25 seconds in. Um, you know, that could have been... Uh, a real tough thing to overcome, uh, give that team a power play on real good ice right off the bat before a lot of players even got on the ice. But the penalty kill did a pretty good job and uh, certainly getting out to a 2 nothing lead against them. But they're, they're that strong that um, you go to sleep, you, uh, you make a poor play um, or, or combine two or three bad plays or get caught out long uh, and they're making you pay for it. And, um, you know, that's what championship caliber teams do. Um, and we're, we're working towards that. We want to become that. We can't quite put it all together yet. Um, but the start itself was better than some of them that we've had lately. How about Brendan Lemieux? How is he sort of fitting in uh, a couple games into his tenure here with the team? I, I think he's still trying to, uh, you know, fit into the group, figure out his role. Not figure out his role. He should know his role. Uh, but figure out how we play, uh, get to know his line mates, um, I think we're going to have to give him a little bit of time. Thanks, Zach. And time for one more here from Zach Dooley. Uh, it seemed like there was a, a lot of energy in maybe the first half of the game. Uh, in the second half, did you feel that you guys maybe stopped doing some of the things that made you successful early, or was it more of Vegas imposing their style of play? Power play. The, the, the lack of execution on the power play, as I said before, you either... If you're not scoring, you, your job is to create a little bit of momentum and energy, and, and a lot of it got, the life got sucked out of us on the power play, and it gave them, uh, it opened the door for them to come back in and strike, um, and they did. Thanks, Todd.